Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of uh, Seaport Tycoon. Uh, the developer has the pain to play his game first. Um, today I wanted to talk to you about uh, the overall uh, building possibilities of uh, the game itself and a little bit about uh, the economy. The game is still uh, under development. We so as you see, <laughs> not very nice. The game is still uh, under development. Uh, it's at the moment the version 0.3. So a lot of prototypes, a lot of suboptimal codes and still a lot of bugs. But uh, the development is progressing and uh, I hope that uh, sooner or later I will come to, to a next upgrade version uh, and, and uh, you will be in the position to play. If you like the game or the game idea itself uh, it would be great to get a like uh, for the algorithm and ideally for a subscription and uh, definitely please do not forget to uh, add it to your wish list on steam this would be very very helpful and uh, this would definitely rise more attention uh, of the other gamers anyway let's uh, jump into into the game itself so first things uh, first uh, what what has progressed so far I am uh, I for today's video I'm using the actually the the old port that I used for in the last video uh, where I did the uh, the, the uh, multi-threading testing and uh, put a lot of trucks into the traffic uh, if you would if you would like uh, to check it out, uh, just check out one of my previous videos. Uh, you will see uh, how uh, this uh, went uh, well or not. And uh, for today, uh, I wanted to show you the, the the upgrades that happens, especially in the visual aspect of the game. So the first thing is I uh, changed a little bit the styles of the building so that they uh, look uh, pretty nicely. The other thing is that I have been elaborating recently is of course also the props, so something like trees. I have been implemented that they are not ready yet, but uh, already uh, receiving a, a decent style of the trees. Um, the challenge here was actually to, uh, given that I am not using the Unity's um, uh, tree system, uh, to, to have uh, fancy trees that are also moving up to some extent, so they are not completely static. And uh, for just fun reasons, I added also um, meadows, grass, so grass and, and, um, and flowers, so that um, it can be a little bit, it looks a little bit better at the end of the day. It's still not fully optimized, uh, but uh, but I think it, it adds to the game a little bit of more flavor and uh, also for those ones who, who like to work a little bit more on the visuals of the, of, 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 uh, of the game, what they have achieved so far, this would be a wonderful opportunity to work around it so the grass uh, the grass itself <clears throat> and also the trees using a technology that uh, that uh, allows them also to wave in the wind and uh, yeah I, I think it is, is, is it is doing a, a pretty pretty nice job itself so let's see I let me just uh, let me down let me know down in the comments section uh, what you think about that and uh, maybe the one or the other um, improvement can be can be done right so this is the one thing in one of my previous videos I have um, um, shown also to you how uh, how the road network system will work so basically um, the design is that there in theory no no real um, limitations to how to play the game um, and to stack uh, all everything uh, above and each other so to use uh, the best of the space that uh, you have in the game 
So this is uh, here a small example how how the traffic could be guided throughout the city, given that the aim is to have uh, super many trucks in the game who need to to deliver the containers and pick them up from the port. The traffic density ver should be very high, and um, and therefore therefore also the possibilities how to construct the roads has been um, elaborated much more. I have presented also in one of my previous videos the conveyor belts, so I, I leave it for the for, for this point there. Um, the game will have also uh, a little bit more in terms of economy. Um, so um, there is uh, there is of course um, a uh, oil industry, so and power plants. But let's focus maybe first on the pipelines. So the, there will be a pipeline system here included, and I'm quite sure you have seen it. One of the road networks, which will be then connected to um, storage um, tanks. So do, 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 do. no, this is not bad. Here we go. And this storage tanks, um, I will present it in a, in a different uh, video further. They will have the capabilities to store gas and oil, like this is pretty common in the in the game. And uh, these supplies will have uh, numerous effects on the overall economy of the port itself. So the aim is that the more gas, the more oil you are um, importing then the output of your local economy, so to say, is uh, increasing and uh, more and more trucks uh, can be can be sent out uh, for shipping. Nevertheless, uh, looking at the economy, um, yeah, maybe one, one, one step back. This is not only for for pipelines, but um, I had also um, the idea and this is this is also for um, for other aspects. So uh, there will be also a possibility for coal and ore. So this uh, this will also trigger different um, different uh, ports. So a, a dock coal coal. So can I rotate it? No, not yet. So maybe it will be cleaner if I do it here. So there will be a um, coal dock. And there is also a um, um, oil pump. No, this is not the oil pump. Uh, dock. So the docks for oil. Here we go. Maybe, maybe there will be also a. Let's connect it to the grid here. Maybe we will get also a a ship with oil. Yes, so this is my prototyping ship for um, <laughs> for oil and the same goes with uh, with coal and ore. So I with that uh, this uh, this area will grow and uh, then then you can pick up again the coal and the ore by trucks or then at the very very later stage also via trains. So um this this sizing of of the port uh, in terms of the map uh, is definitely not the the final one. Um, it will it will uh, require you to uh, to to expand your ports uh, heavily. That's why that's why also oh, that's nice. This is one of the beautiful bugs that occurs that the ships are not parking properly. This is the pain when when testing the game. And uh, making especially a video about it, and it doesn't work. But hey, that's life. So <laughs> um, yeah, the so so the whole infrastructure. And this was probably one of the of the uh, bigger challenges. It was to, um, to 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 keep it somehow uh, compact in such a way that uh, you can you can you know stack everything above each other. And um, you know, allow uh, the infrastructure to cross. Oh yeah, this I made a very good. This this is the crossing. And um, so here we go. Okay. 
Can I build it? No. Do I have it somewhere here? Pipe. Oh yeah, here. Here is my pipe. So here we go. Maybe I can cross it somehow like that. Yeah, of course, in the middle of the street. Great. And now I cut it off. And then, so, here we go. Um, so to allow everything um, to move properly. So um, pumping in, uh, I have here a small indicator whether whether my tanks are full or not. So this black, black strip here um, for gas, it will be uh, yellow. Um, <clears throat> Um, you can then not, you do not need necessarily to, to get all the trucks then close to this area, to the pump stations, but um, the aim is also that you can put it via pipelines to somewhere uh, close to this, uh, to your road network, and then you can pick up the oil. Of course, the oil can be also then used for energy. This can be connected. Uh, this is another beautiful prototype. And this guy can start to produce energy for the for the overall port, and uh, also export the energy to the to the outside economy of um, of the of the game. So, because because I spent so much time, I need now to on that. I need now to put also some trees into to that, so that uh, it looks a little bit better, right? And uh, I, but but I um, promise you, I'm not uh, going to do it with uh, with uh, grass. Maybe just a little bit to make the visuals better. So as you can see, um, of course, this this setup is absolutely bad because I should uh, also look more into into leveling of uh, of my port. And um, once having that, I. I could have yet that now now the trees are floating. These are the, the other suboptimal things that are still haven't been finished, but at least you can see that. And um, okay, let's put it like that. And then you can expand your, your area where you want to work on uh, with your with your port. This is uh, this is about the building possibilities. So raw materials um, such as coal, gas, um, oil, um, ore, etc., will uh, can be imported into the port or respectively also exported. This this function will be also available, <laughs> and um, and uh, depending on what you're doing, this will also trigger. Uh, the traffic not only with um, with uh, containers but also with trucks of other type. I will come uh, to this at the later point in stage. The funny thing is, I do not have at the moment even the the trucks that are you know carrying the, the coal and all the other commodities. So this will follow. Just just to provide you an overview. However. Um, Another topic that I wanted to discuss uh, today briefly is also the aspect of uh, the economy itself. So um, there is uh, there a couple of information here above. Uh, of course, not all numbers are still uh, okay or how they are supposed to be. Uh, but uh, one of the major things that I'm thinking about is whether I should put in real money to uh, to play the game so the port earns money and uh, then based on that you can build another road or whatever or combine it or co or s completely skip the money and work on some sort of uh, other indicators and now given given that um, we 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 are in very interesting times um i thought to initially to focus on the co2 emissions and um, uh, and also the energy production itself. So based on how you are producing things or how you are importing those things, um, this is uh, then how how uh, your um, your rating of the port will go, and based on that you will receive the rights to expand or to release. 
just a thought um, maybe you have some other interesting ideas how to do this for the time being I have uh, been thinking about uh, producing for instance more uh, power with windmills and um, and uh, the same is to uh, put in into my um, grid network uh, so this is maybe badly visible accumulators so another beautiful prototyping asset which actually stores the energy uh, that is being produced so this could be already qualified as some sort of um, or, or maybe going into hydrogen uh, storage capacities and uh, this would uh, definitely have a positive impact on the CO2 balance because in this port, um, so the, the, the figures that you are seeing here, the 3.9 tons are at the moment generated by the traffic, by the trucks that are incoming, by the ships that are incoming. And respectively, you can, you can work against it with uh, technologies like uh, re renewable energies or, or green energy in general. Um, the other thing is uh, maybe having here a power plant that is um, it, that has the capacity to change something to hydrogen, and this has a positive effect on your CO2 balance. Um, solar panels still not implemented, but is of course an option and of course my beautiful trees and, and the more I plant them they have also a particular output so the more I, I put up uh, trees into my my um, my uh, port uh, then there is a positive balance on that okay the, the impact impact is now very very super low however um, uh, this this can be balanced out with figures and based on your performance based on the efficiency of the port the port receives some particular score or some funds from the government the story can be still made up for the game it's open and based on that then uh, working on 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 expansions of the port could be could be an option for the player so this is uh, this is the idea um, how the building capacities and organization of the port could um, could go hand in hand with some ever environmental things and policy things of the port um, and um, yeah I did leave your comments what you think about it uh, how, how this could be done because I think uh, yeah putting putting simply money in is somehow cheap it's still an option. This can be done, of course, but uh, given given this game is being coded, uh, maybe maybe uh, some other alternatives could be approached, and and um, and then we could go for it in in such a way. That's it for it. Uh, I really liked you. I, I really hope you liked uh, the the video and uh, the thoughts that uh, I was sharing with you about the game uh, and uh, yeah please uh, leave uh, leave a like if you liked uh, the video leave a like if you also didn't like the video and uh, subscribe uh, put uh, please put the game on the wish list and uh, definitely the discussion is open the the you will find in the um, video description below where where I do regularly update the games or which in which forums I'm I'm more active and uh, leave a comment leave your thoughts and uh, yeah your input is very welcome and I would really appreciate it so thank you very much and have a great day bye.